二零一二年，國防部宣布合乎資格嘅無證兒童可以申請詐瞞遣返計劃 （DACA）， 兩年之內避免被抵街，並且獲得工作許可證。但係數字顯示，雖然全加州符合該個計劃條件嘅亞裔移民人數估計大約係四萬名左右，但係申請人數就非常之低。記者李浩晴同其中一位華裔 DACA 申請者做咗一個深入嘅探討。今年二十二歲嘅高正熱喺南加州讀初高中、大學，同其他嘅美國年青人冇乜分別，但係佢嘅身份同其他嘅美國年青人唔同。當年嚟一直係一個秘密。你好，我的名字叫做高靜怡，我是一位無證人士。啊，我花了很多年去接受我的移民身份。高靜怡十二歲嘅時候，同媽媽、哥哥透過旅遊簽證嚟到美國。當時佢媽媽話俾佢知，會嚟到美國呢一度讀書。那时候我也非常的兴奋，因为我终于可以追求我的美国梦。但系佢嘅美国梦好快就破碎咗。高正意识到自己无证移民嘅身份，之后曾经透过领养以国际学生身份报读学校等等嘅方法，都唔能够成功将签证延长。During high school, I was very aware of my undocumented status. I felt ashamed and I felt embarrassed. And it was just very overwhelming for me. 连高正仪嘅妈妈亦都话俾佢知，佢嘅无证身份应该系保密，唔应该随便话俾人知。当佢嘅朋友问佢关于驾驶执照等问题，佢亦都只会草草带过。I I was trying to navigate through school, trying to fit in, trying to make friends with my broken English, and there I was trying to understand what 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 does this status mean to me, and it felt a lot of Deep sense of of sadness. 花咗近七年嘅时间去寻找防止被遣返嘅方法，高正义终于喺二零一二年申请暂缓遣返计划，并获得批准，能够合法申请驾驶执照同埋工作嘅许可证。但系根据数字显示，全加州四万名合资格申请暂缓遣返计划嘅亚裔民众当中，只有极少数申请呢一个计划。We believe that it could be lack of access to in-language legal help and in-language information about the DACA program. Park Noi Lu is a American immigration center operator and is a member of the Legal Aid Foundation, which is a program for immigrants who are seeking to seek a visa. He says that he has met many cases of immigrants who have been accused of being fake immigrants, who have been able to solve their immigration problems by lying to them and making them feel guilty about their decision to seek a visa and make them feel guilty. This is not a law yet. A lot of folks are waiting for a more permanent solution, but we believe that because because of the great benefits that the program offers, people shouldn't wait for a permanent solution to to come forth. Park Noi Lu 指出，越多人提出申请，社区嘅需求先能够有事实做后盾。而社會上好多機構亦都會免費提供唔同語言嘅申請幫助。They can get help from Asian Americans Advancing Justice, and we they can get free legal advice on how to apply. You don't really lose anything from trying to get more information, especially here at Advancing Justice. We do have Chinese hotlines. 而高正義而家就係其中一位能夠為申請者提供中文協助嘅法律顧問，喺加州大學洛杉磯分校畢業。申請暫緩遣返計劃獲得工作證之後，高正義就加入亞美公益促進中心洛杉磯，希望幫助更多有需要嘅人。My job allowed me to bring the voices out of the people that are afraid, help them to become empowered, help them to know that they they get to seek help. 到咗今日，高正义嘅身份唔再系一个秘密，唔再令佢感到羞耻，而佢嘅美国梦就系希望透过自己嘅经历去影响其他行紧同一条路嘅人。The truth is, this is not just a Latino issue, and this is we can take ownership of our stories. And whether the person is from China, from Taiwan, from Hong Kong, from any other Asian Pacific Islanders countries. You know, we can stand together and really not be afraid because we're not alone. 高正仪之后希望继续攻读硕士学位，创造一个可持续发展嘅方法，减低社会上露宿者嘅数目。原来高正仪嘅美国梦一直冇破碎，佢正系一步一步咁筑起自己嘅梦想。天后卫视记者李浩晴采访报道。